Hello everyone. Welcome back to Enlightened Word Save Souls. As you all know, I'm Sonia Christ Soldier, the founder of Enlightened Word Save Souls. Today is a special quick edition on how to do things. I know in my devotions and even in the lessons that I have been given out that I've been telling you to meditate and study on the Word of God. Well, the study the Word of God video I already put out, but this one is to meditate on God's Word. Now I'm going to show you how to do it. This is my way of doing it, but who knows, it might work for you, or if it don't, there are other options that I could give you. Now, as you can see, back of me is a board. I like using the board because I don't like using paper or I don't like carrying paper because I make a mistake and throw it away. So what I had wrote on the board was three things. Three things on my board, which is speak affirmation to yourself, meditate on God's word, and also what God says about you. You should meditate on that too. But the most important thing that you use to meditate is using God's word. Because all words are powerful, but God's word is extremely powerful to any other word. So, in self-affirmation, I look into scriptures that I would like to speak over myself. So when I look at the scriptures, what I do is I absolutely try to fit it to myself so that I can apply it to my life so that I will be able to walk into what I'm speaking into my life. Like for instance, I'm going to give you a scripture. For God did not give us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Now with that scripture there, I broke it down to two affirmations to speak on myself, which I'm going to give you a little bit of. And it says here, my mind is sharp. I am sound. I am super intelligent and excellent. I do not fear, but I have love, power, and a sound mind. So those are the affirmations that I speak to myself because it's still the word of God. When you speak like that, it doesn't mean that you're haughty or you think you're better than haughty of anybody else. No, it's just giving you confirmation of what God says who you are. And it's not to be better than anybody. It's just to tell yourself, yourself, this is what God says I am. So I'm going to speak it to myself. There are other affirmations on there that I would love to give, but it'll take me all day because there's really more than that. But that's just a start for you. If the board doesn't work, you can use postcards, papers, or you can even put it on the home screen of your phone so that you can get to look at it every now and then and speak it to yourself. So that it could be a reminder of what God says about you. Now the other side I have here is meditate on God's word. Now you could pick a certain particular scripture that will speak to you. Or whatever that you are going through. And you want to overcome that situation. So you want to depend and lean on God's word. So you pick out a scripture that fits you. That fits your situation. That stands out to you. That means God is trying to tell you something. Meditate on that scripture. So the scripture that I got for me, because there is times I battle with my mind. So I have to get out scriptures that goes towards my situation, which is my mind. Now, there are a lot of mind scriptures, but there are also things that you can think on and not think of whatever the devil put in your mind, yourself or anyone else. You could eliminate all that by refusing it, binding and rebuking in the name of Jesus and add the word of God to it. So I picked Philippians 4.8. And I'm going to read it to you because this is a very good scripture. And it says, finally, my brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things of good report. If there be any virtue, if there be any praise, think on these things. So as you notice, I don't know if you can see it real far, but I'm going to close you up a little bit. There are words that I underline, which is true, honest, just, pure, lovely, and good report. The reason why I underline those things, because those are the things that God commanded me to think on and to give praise to God on. And it helps me not to think on the bad things that's happening, things that's happening that's trying to oppose to me to make me have a bad day, or things that the devil will put in my mind to have me thinking on. So we cannot think on those things. No, no, that does not benefit us at all. 
So that's why I underline those things and I meditate on those things that this is what God tell me to do. And this is what I would think on because God's word is true and everlasting and it will not return to him void. And if it wasn't true, he wouldn't said it. So that's the purpose of me meditating on that to help my mind. Now, if there's other situations as far as your heart and as far as your sickness or diseases, you find scriptures that fits that criteria a part of your life so that you could put apply it to your life and meditate on them and believe me, it will work. The more you meditate, meaning the more you think, the more you speak it every day, the more you say it every day to yourself, it will be alive in you and you will know the difference. Amen. The last one is I want to show you is what God says about you. Now, there are some things that people will say things about you or things you might think of yourself. Sometimes we have low self-esteem because we don't think we're better or we think we're not any good. But the devil was alive because only the devil gives you those thoughts. So now we're going to go into what God says about you. I picked Jeremiah 29, 11, just for a short thing, just to give you an example. Jeremiah 29, 11. And it says, but I know the thoughts that I have towards you, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil. To give you an expected end. Now that right there should be enough. Because God thought towards you. Things that are good and nothing that's evil. To give you an expected end. That should give you a motivation. Into going and forth in God. Because he already said who you are and the thoughts he have of you. So that's why I put that in for me. I read it every day. So that I could know what God said about me. It worked for you. So this is how you meditate on God's word. So I hope this helped, especially the newbies that are coming in into Christ Jesus, but don't know how to do it. But this is the way how I do it on my board. Because if I have any um, things going on in my mind, because I'm home most of the time, or if I'm going through something where the enemy try to come at me with opposition and I cannot remember the scripture or the information that I speak to myself, which I should know by now, that I will come into this room and I speak those things. I bind and rebuke the enemy and then I speak those things. Whatever that was coming to you negatively, thoughts, images or whatever, goes away immediately because you placed it with the word of God. That's what the word of God is for, is to give us peace that surpasses all understanding as long as you keep your mind stayed on him. How you keep your mind stayed on him? By the word. You use the word against your situation. Use the word against whatever you're going through and to apply it to yourself so that it will grow within you and that you can walk out of what the word says. Amen. So this is what I wanted to share with you all today. I hope this is very good for you to understand and to know how to meditate on God's word. This is just a start. The more you do it, the more easier it becomes. So I thank you for listening. And I know it will work for you because it's working for me. For I am a living witness. Until next time, thank you again for coming by and lighting words save souls. Please do not forget to subscribe. On the bottom, there's a little picture there of mine. Once you click on it, it takes you automatically to subscribe the channel. Until next time. Talk to you soon. See you.